called up Glenna Salisbury. He said, Glenna, what are you letting go of? Where's Glenna? There we go. So what are you letting go of? She says, I've let go of a whole lot, in particular. Cultivate in you. If you have Olympic level expectations of yourself, you'll spend a lot of your spare time getting ready. Would you agree? If you have ordinary mundane expectations of yourself, you'll spend your spare time amusing yourself. You'll just kick back. What's the rush? Who needs it, right? See, we tend to get ready for what we expect will be there. And if we expect that there's a whole lot more waiting than there is behind us, we get ready more. And the more we get ready for, the more possibilities we create or open up. They already existed. And the more things that we get ready for and the more possibilities that come into the fore, the more realities we create that are way beyond what other people had expected. We've got a job, but we, more than we've got a responsibility. So I think when it comes to visualizing the future, we really ought to aim high. The vision to go back and look at something that happened on an ordinary day, perhaps, that you didn't even know was happening, and then to see as you move along, are you stumping your toe on the same stone over and over again? Could you reach down and dislodge it and let it go back down the mountain never to bother you again? Do you understand your patterns? Do you understand what is important to you? Suggest, Ian, where are you? If you want to, if you want to impress Glenna, go with her to dinner and order a Greek salad. <laughs> and when it comes, you look at that Greek salad and you say, uh-uh-uh, an authentic Greek salad has no lettuce in it. It doesn't. A lot of, of, of the secret of doing well with storytelling is picking up in the moment with what's going on in the room and being able to let your mind free fall through it. I've written some things. Don't look at your handout. That is as much for later as it is for now. For some of you, it's that stack of articles on your desk that you tear out when you're on the airplane. I'm going to read that. Joy, you've got, I bet you got a stack 100 feet tall. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this. This will help. This will help. Do you know your bum's in fabulous shape? Well, you know it's in great shape when you have fluffy floaties. <laughs> Did she say that? Oh, that's disgusting. The subway guy that lost all the weight, what's his name? Jared, Jared is heroic. I want to listen to this guy. I want to hear his stories because I eat Subway sandwiches. It's not working. Now, I don't know if you know this, Glenna is a Greek scholar. Right? And so I, I get nervous even using anything. I, I, I will not even order a Greek salad in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I just get intimidated with that. <laughs> Now, there's a lot of people that will leave this conference and they'll have a thousand things to do. They'll have a list of to-do things and they'll be so excited. And it's just, where's Lisa? Where's Lisa Ford? Raise your hand, Lisa. Lisa, there'll be people that'll be coming up to you in the lobby on the last day of the convention and they'll do the usual thing. Be Lisa, it was so great. It was so much fun. Go, oh, I learned so much. And the, the keynote speakers were great and the breakouts were great and the food was, well, the breakouts were great and, the, and it, was, it was just incredible. And then and you, I mean, look at you every day. What, how, your hair, your shoes, I hate you. But we all stay on the perfect track. Stage right, sidebar. When I say share versus compare, it's a cornerstone of NSA. Ever since I've joined this organization, all I've heard about is Cabot saying share, share, share. Share ideas, share our love, share our time, share everything but your material, and we all get better. Share. I'm going to start right. Who, who, like, what was your idea or question? Yes. Oh, no, you've got to have an idea. You don't get a can for nothing. You've got to give me, give me one idea you just picked up so far. I got an idea for a story that I had happened to me very similar, but I can use about getting a scholarship when I was in high school. Okay, but can you, are you going to relate it more to the audience or are you going to make it your story? No, no, no. You're going to relate it to them? Yeah. You want to count? Yes, right here. Emphasize the U's, forget can, the I's. You like the U concept? Love the U's. Can you see the difference? Sure, yes. How many we do this and we, whose shirts are you talking about? His. Well, if that's good, you ought to buy them. But what if they said, let me show you, you. let's get Patrick and Tom a hand for those two ideas. Oh, the subway guy that lost all the weight, what's his name? Jared, Jared is heroic. I want to listen to this guy. I want to hear his stories because I eat Subway sandwiches. It's not working. When something bad happens, I do this. I make this face and I do this. Bummer. Try it. Bummer. Okay? And I'll let it go. Now, there are big and little 
Jackie, shot in the head on an airplane. Now, here's the thing. A, a lot of people then take the, and they stack them one on top of another until they get, these people have had one too many what? So what we do is we release the, because when something good happens, I do this. Woohoo! Try that. Woohoo! Okay? And if you work real hard with your comic vision, you can actually take the, and turn them into, with a little bit of work. We you ever watched a war movie or something and they have the radar screen, you know, that sort of bluish, greenish glow and, and the little bar thing kind of goes around. You ever seen that? And when it hits an object, it goes bleep, right? And it comes around bleep. Here's what I want you to have in your mind. Would you think of yourself with a radar screen, a, a total circle, 360 degree radar screen in your mind. In fact, you, you might even want to close your eyes to do this. And I want you to imagine that little bar thing going around. Right? And it's going to cover all four directions from where you're sitting right now, behind you, to the left, to the right, and in front of you. Just imagine it going around, and where it blips in your mind, in that direction, <coughs> is the person who is here to help you. Close your eyes, let it go around till you get a blip. Remember what direction it's in. Is it to your right, to your left, ahead of you, behind you? You got a blip? All right, open your eyes. First, are you serious or are you kidding me? You're kidding. You got a can for being our first participant. What is your first name? First name? Let's give Ed a nice hand for being a character. Ed, you got that can. Thank you. I'm going to give away a couple of cans and uh, got a few tapes here. I'm going to start right. Who, who, yeah, what was your idea or question? Yes. Oh, no, you got to have an ID. You don't get a can for nothing. You've got to give me, give me one idea you just picked up so far. You want a can or a tape? Tape. Tape. Oh, you're going to get this one. A cemetery is a place to make a meeting come alive. You're going to love that one. Thank you, Patrick. Hop, yes, right here. Here's your can, Tom, for doing it. Let's give Patrick and Tom a hand for those two ideas. Maybe that's kind of how we're trying to do the business a little bit different. I went bowling with the people. Had a great time. I played because there's more to this business than the spoken word. More. How many? How many of you have built your whole business on 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 fluff, 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 fluff? So I want you to get your pen or a pretend pen, reach across to the person next to you, even if you've never met them before in your whole life, introduce yourself, and I want you to draw a smile with two dots on the end of their finger. A pretend or a real, it doesn't matter. This, this should only take one second. It's not an intellectual challenge, you know. Look at you. Some of you were there looking at the board to make sure you're doing the right thing, you know. Like, it's only a smile with two dots. Of you doing? Look at it. Doesn't have to have any dangly bits or anything. Just a smile with the two dots is good. Okay. This. You're not doing it standing by yourself up there, sir. Don't you think I can't see you? You go up. It doesn't work if you do it yourself. You'll have to get with that other man standing by himself.